Hi, welcome to Exploring the Illusion of Free Will. My name is George, and the title of today's show is The Messenger and I Have Evolved Human Consciousness. And what this means is like, you know, basically the messenger is a friend of mine who's producing a show in Manhattan that I'm co-hosting, and, um, and we're doing it like every Wednesday night, 11 p.m. live on Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Uh, you can also catch it on the internet, but basically between that show and this show and my website, um, he and I are pretty much pioneering <coughs> a new human consciousness <laughs> as, I, as I choke up uh, with the... Uh, and and the, the cool thing about this is like, you know, this show is about the illusion of free will, so like we're doing this, but we can't really take credit for it because <laughs> we don't have a free will. In other words, the universe is using us in this way, okay? And um, so that's what this show is going to be about. And it, it's very cool because, like, that, that is actually what's happening. I think, um, actually, before I get into this, I want to, like, just go through the, the basic stuff. You know, I, I do this every show because that is what the show is about. Most people, a lot of people won't see all of the episodes, so they have to understand this. Okay, basically, this show is about demonstrating that free will is an illusion and explaining why this is not just a moot point. This is a very important point because it, it addresses the very nature of, of the premises we use to, um, to interact with ourselves and each other. So, um, okay, we have this belief that we have a free will, meaning that we can do whatever we want regardless of anything, regardless of our genes, our upbringing, what we learned, what we haven't learned, our personality, our experiences, our emotions, um, you know, our memories, our unconscious, regardless of anything. And, you know, if, if you know, is that if as I'm saying this, you're, you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, we're, you know, we can't decide completely free of that stuff. Well, then you've got it. You're right. We, you know, all these things, you know, if our personality is 50% genetic, then, then our decisions are going to be essentially 50% genetic. Think about it. Um, the main reason, you know, so anyway, that, so, so the belief in free will is that we, you know, we, we can choose whatever we want. The reality is that we're robots, we're puppets, we're mannequins, <laughs> we're, we're actors. Call us whatever you will. We're instruments of God, instruments of the universal will, the universal fate. And, um, and that's the reality. That is the true nature of human beings. And, um, and you know, how important is this? This is supremely important because what's the first, first characteristic of being a human being? No, the first char yeah, the first characteristic of being a human being is that we exist, okay? We absolutely exist. We know we exist. <laughs> you know, or we take that as a given. That's like a, a shared collective understanding, and it's the first one. All right? We exist. What is the second fundamental characteristic or aspect of our existence? We do things. Doing things is like you know, we decide, we act, okay? So, if we, um, if we conclude that we are acting free of the factors that are actually compelling our every act, that is an insane, insane, insane consciousness. It's completely insane. You know, basically we're, we're taking, you know, we're, it's like, you know, Years ago, before Columbus, before they started sailing around, seeing where, where things were, you know, we had this belief that, like, you know, that the world was flat. Okay, well, you know, all right, the, the, our Earth is an orb. Or a, a better, better example of this is like that, um, that our world is motionless, you know, that everything is motionless, nothing is moving. I mean, you know, or at least the planet, you know. Or, but, you know, naturally we're hurtling through space, you know, at 600,000 miles per hour or whatever. All right, you get it. You get it that um, basically it's an illusion, and um, but the thing is, with those illusions like the flat Earth and the you know motionless Earth and stuff, it doesn't make much difference. It just doesn't because you know we live our lives you know 
regardless. But with this illusion, delusion, that we have a free will, it makes all the difference in the world. Like, if we didn't have this illusion, there wouldn't, wouldn't be any wars. I mean, so many, some of the things, so many of the things that are wrong, either morally or criminally, that we do to, to each other, toward each other, come about from attributing free will to the other person. In other words, like, we'll say to ourselves, what that other person did something wrong and he deserves to be punished and he did it wrong toward me, so like, I'm going to punish him and all that stuff. I mean, it just creates so much like unnecessary, insane aggression. <laughs> That's the thing. All right, so anyway, back to the theme. So yeah, the, the messenger and I, and the messenger, like, he's, um, he wants to remain, uh, remain anonymous on this. I, I don't, you know, I don't care. Actually, my, my, my name for the show, because I wanted to go along with the same kind of like, you know, if he's going to call himself the messenger, I, I wanted a, a title also, whatever. So, like, I'm the truth machine on this show. And, and like, again, it's, very, it's the coolest thing because it's a Manhattan show. It's like, it's cable cast to, the, to Manhattan. Anybody gets cable service in Manhattan. And there's like, you know, there's a lot of people in Manhattan. I think it's like 1.5 million I think. Um, but then again, it's, it's also streamed out. And all right, the reason I say we're evolving um, a new human consciousness is because um, there are people in academia, a few philosophers who get this, um, or a few philosophers. No, no, there's probably a lot of philosophers who get this. There's a few philosophers who get the importance of this. Because if you get the importance of this, then you research it and write about it. And there's very, very few philosophers who do that. And on top of that, there, is, there are no philosophers, except the messenger and I right now, who are like really bringing this to the mainstream. You know, I mean, there's a few sites that like, there's a site on um, naturalism.org by this guy, um, Tom Clark, um, no, I'm not sure, um, I don't know, anyway, but it, it's about naturalism, and like, he, on, on his site, he says that free will is an illusion, he kind of explains, but it's just like, it's, it's like, a, kind of like a small part of his overall world view, whereas like the messenger and I, this is our theme, this is what we're going with, there's absolutely nobody else in the world doing this, now I imagine, I imagine that um, by next year, the year after, don't be surprised if you see books about this. Like if you see, like let's say Malcolm Gladwell write a book on this, or um, you know some of the heavy. You know, I mean, cause like you know Gladwell is awesome the way he describes things, explains things. Um, so yeah, don't don't be surprised if that happens because um, because people are getting this. People are absolutely getting this. You know, we get um, calls on the show and they're beginning to understand it. Okay, um, so yeah, so what we're doing? How else you want to understand this? We're doing what Freud did. The messenger and I are doing what Freud did 100 years ago. Um, Freud is credited for basically two things. Um, one, talking therapy. He kind of like, and I'm not sure he was the first in this either, but um, he kind of like realized that um, when we talk about what's going on, um, you know, we understand it and I mean, it's kind of like an obvious kind of like um, conclusion, but just talking as, no, it wasn't obvious to them because they, they didn't experience it. So like basically talking is a way of resolving emotional, psychological issues. Okay, so he's credited with that. But the second thing that he's credited for is not discovering the unconscious because the unconscious was known from the time of the Greeks at least you know, a part of our mind that we're not even aware is there. Uh, but what Freud did is he popularized the concept of the unconscious so that, um, so that, you know, everybody now gets it. Everybody now gets that there's a part of our mind that we're not aware of that is actually, <laughs> with this show, it's controlling everything, you know, that, that I, sh I, I have done a show on this, <laughs> you know, the unconscious, it's not only that, you know, that we have it, and that's the thing, that's why Freud didn't go that far, okay, he, he understood, he understood that free will is an illusion, he writes a few lines on it, but he didn't get the importance of it, he didn't get the significance, you know, he, di he didn't get the complete insanity of everybody going around thinking that they have a free will when they don't, Okay, so, so basically, 
this is cool. I, we got to do this because like we don't have a big budget. We don't have any budget on advertising though. So this is like this is like our press release. Um, the messenger and I are essentially um, we're popularizing the um, the reality of human will, the causal reality. We're 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 teaching the world. We're communicating to the world. We're succeeding in communicating to the world that free will is an illusion. That our human will is causal and unconscious. And again, you know, if you want to compare it to Freud, you know, this is like even more major, because like the when you think about it, the um, the utility, the practicality of understanding that we have an unconscious is in understanding what it means that we have an unconscious, you know? And like, and if, if you don't make that connection, that very, very important connection, that the unconscious, um, by definition, um, refutes free will, that, and I, I'm not, I, by definition, but let me explain this. But if you don't get that, Okay, if you don't get that, um, that the unconscious negates free will, then you really haven't described anywhere near completely um, the significance of the unconscious. And so that's, that's what the messenger and I are doing. Um, let me go into this why the unconscious... Uh, and actually, the messenger's not... I'm doing this about the unconscious. He, he wants to focus just on the causality of it. I mean, maybe eventually we'll, we'll get into that. But this unconscious stuff, it's a little more difficult um, for people to understand. It might be a little more intuitive, on the other hand. But let's go through it now, because um, it's cool. Okay. We know we have an unconscious. Okay, there's various ways that, um, that we know this. Okay. <laughs> Now, think about this. Whenever we make a decision, we have to base that decision on something, on various factors, on our morality, moral principles. Um, is it something we want to do? Is it, is it safe to do? Um, can we do it? You know, there's a lot of like, you know, a lot of considerations that, that go into to so many decisions, every decision we make, really, you know, and the thing is, like, we've got a conscious mind, but our consciousness can only focus on one or at most a few things at a time. And um, two things. One, if, if we've got to focus on, on more than one thing to make a decision, um, there may be a lot of things. Naturally, this stuff cannot be stored in the conscious mind in our conscious mind so it has to be stored in the unconscious all right what i'm saying essentially again i've, I've done shows on this you can um, check out the website f for more complete explanations but what um basically what we have is all of the all well except maybe the the stuff coming in immediately from the environment perceptions but aside from that all of the data that goes into making every and any decision we make is stored in the unconscious. Okay, think about that. All of the data, all of the information, all of the memories that go into any decision we make are stored in the unconscious. You know. Now, okay, how can that so very, very quickly and easily, um, you know, just describe to us or, or let us know that, that free will is impossible? Well, if all the stuff that we're going to base a decision on is in the unconscious, and by definition, by definition, the conscious mind is not even aware of the unconscious. You know, that's why we call it the unconscious. We're not aware of it. We're unconscious of this part of our, our brain at any real time. We can become... You know, there may be a thought that is, for example, every thought. What I'm saying right now, you know, before I became conscious of it, was, um, you know, basically, I'm, I'm becoming, as I'm saying whatever I'm saying, as, as you're thinking whatever you're thinking, you're actually becoming conscious of what's in your unconscious. 
okay? But considering that, um, that all the data that's in your unconscious, that's in my unconscious, is, um, is pivotal, is necessary, is fundamental, and um, <clears throat> is crucial to, to any decision we make, then that'll tell you that that'll tell you that, that that our will isn't free. You know, we're not even conscious of the part of our mind that that has all the data. So if we're not conscious, <laughs> sorry, if if we're not conscious of the part of the of our mind that has all the data, this is the key. Then the processing of that data has to be going on at the level of the unconscious. This is important. Think about this. You've got the data, the memories, the learning, experiences, all that stuff in the unconscious. The conscious mind can't access it, especially if there's a lot of it, can't access it in real, you know, you know can't access more than one fact or whatever. Can't really access it at all because it is unconscious of it. So you've got the only part of our brain that can access the unconscious in order to make a decision is the unconscious. So you've got one part of the unconscious sifting through all the data, kind of like a search engine sifts through um, websites and, and, and you know words and stuff if you do a search online, keyword search, whatever. So, and that, that is why um, the unconscious makes free will impossible. We have digressed. And see, if I had a free will, I wouldn't have digressed. <laughs> Stay right with us. Because uh, this is a fun show. This is like, okay, we, the messenger and I have made History Writer. It's just like playing out. It's kind of like this Occupy movement. I'm going to do a show on it next. But, um, you know, basically my understanding, just from talking to people on the street, because I was, I was on a subway in, um, coming home from Manhattan maybe a couple of months ago. I was wearing my um, Transcend the Delusion of Free Will shirt. And teenager, kid must have been 16, 15, he got it. I mean, he got it. I mean, the, 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 word, the word is out about this. So, so, yes, we have, you know, we have pretty much succeeded in getting this topic an understanding of this topic that human will is in, uh, free will is an illusion, human will is compelled and, and causal. We've, we've taken it from academia and we've brought it to the mainstream. We've brought it, as the messenger likes to say, to Main Street, you know. And that's, you know, that's huge. That's major. That's major because, like, one of, the, um, one of the reasons why it hasn't been done yet, because there, there's a few, remember I said there's a few um, philosophers who get this. One of them is Saul Smilansky, and he, um, he's a philosopher in Israel. And he gets it, you know. He, he's, um, he's written a book on it, you know, that free will is an illusion. But his take is like, don't tell anybody, because if you tell people, you know, they'll say, well, I can get away with anything because you can't blame me. No, that's a very, very naive perspective because basically for one we're, we're, we have a moral imperative that compels us to do what we think is moral and we have a hedonic impar imperative that compels us to do what we think is going to create the greatest happiness in the future both for ourselves and others. So those two factors playing a role in every one of our decisions just um, tells me very clearly that no, we do not have to worry that, you know, if every, when everybody understands the free will is an illusion world, you know, civilization is going to collapse. You know, it's just not going to happen. I mean, it's going to be much better. It's actually going to be much better because I just did a show on this um, because we're going to stop blaming each other for things. Okay, we've got about eight minutes left. So, yes, yeah, so we're, we're pioneering a new human consciousness. This is like so cool because you got, you got to think about it. If you might, you might think, well, wait a minute, a free will consciousness doesn't seem that different from a, a causal will consciousness. So big deal. Everything's determined. We don't have a free will. Big deal. No, it's the biggest deal in the world. It really is. Because like, when you're having as your fundamental premise for how you react to what other people do and how you react to what you do as that we have free will, then you're going to be blaming them and yourself all the time for God knows what, you know. And that's, that's where we are. And that, that, is, that is a um, diametrically, you know, 
polar, um, polarly different consciousness than than um, a causal consciousness, you know, causal will consciousness. The idea that you know everything is um, causal, our, our wills are all you know predetermined. We're we're robots, we're puppets. <laughs> so. Um, and so, yeah, so now, I mean, it's going to be pretty cool how it plays out. Um, but actually, you know, you know, now this Occupy thing is really like, you know, it's going to be the big thing for, who knows, the next year, year and a half. I mean, this is a global revolution. <laughs> this is major. Um, but, but, you know, my hope, and I've been going down to like um, Zuccotti Park, Liberty Square, with my sign saying transcend the delusion of free will and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this one in sometime soon and they're getting it they're getting it I've, I've had conversations with, with people there and the idea is like to the extent that we understand that free will is an illusion well then some guy who who's just faded who's lucky to do something really good Bill Gates Warren Buffett um, Murdoch Rupert Murdoch all these like billionaires if we don't have a free will, they're not really so entitled for. They're not entitled to that wealth, you know. Because like the idea is like if we if we because we don't have a free will, cannot rationally or logically blame ourselves or each other when we do wrong, then the national the natural logical extension to that is we can't take credit for what we do either, or you know. So like we're not going to like really blame ourselves and each other and we're not going to take credit. That means like all these people that have billions, they shouldn't have that money. So this is the Occupy um, movement is about like it's the 99% versus the 1% who, and this is so cool. The main point about this is like, yes, the revolution actually has already succeeded. When, when Bloomberg arrested 700 plus protesters on the Brooklyn Bridge, I knew that it's just a matter of time. The rule of the 1% over the 99% nine, nine, is over. You know, it's just playing out. But here's the thing. Here's why this theme, this truth that our wills are causal and not free is so profoundly important to today, to what's going on now. To the extent that we have a free will perspective, we're going to be really angry at that 1%, you know, for, for messing up the economy, for, for being so greedy, so selfish, so reckless, so evil, you know. But to the extent that we abandon that perspective and adopt the understanding that we have a free will, then we can't blame them. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to take their power and their money because they're, you know, they're endangering the planet, especially with climate change and all. You know, we've got so much to do with climate change. They're not letting hardly anything be done. You know, um, so, so basically it's not, about, um, <clears throat> it's not about not doing what needs to be done. It's simply about doing what needs to be done without the, um, the blame involved. And, you know, as, as long as I'm going into, like, um, the, um, how this affects how we would treat, for example, um, the 1% who are, you know, just like using their money and power for their interest and against the, the interests of, of everyone, including themselves. Um, I lost my train of thought. Okay, this is... Um, 336. So this is, this is a pretty kind of like emotionally heated um, topic. I mean, you know, it's a, it's, it's a revolution, dude. It's, it's a major revolution that, like, you know, these kids are unstoppable. It's about jobs. Um, I, I've got one more. No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this for the next show. I've got another point kind of like explaining how um, the, causal, the causal history of this Occupy uh, movement, you know, because it's pretty cool. But no, I should I should stick to this theme. Okay, now one of the things that that's really like dysfunctional about the free will illusion is that um, it makes people arrogant. You know, people, you know, they say, "Wow, I did something so great out of my own free will. Aren't I better than you? Aren't I better than other people and stuff?" And this this like who likes to you know. I don't think it's a, it's a good feeling to feel. I don't think it's a good feeling to, to project or express good attitude, good perspective. And, but that's, that's a result of the free will. That's a natural extension of the free will perspective. Whereas when you understand that, you know, our human will is causal, all of a sudden, wait a minute, you know, when you do anything that's good, the messenger and I are pioneering a new human consciousness 
But we have to logically re remain completely humble about it. We can't take credit for it. It's not like, you know, we freely decided to do this. The, um, the universe chose us. Wow, like we're like the new chosen because <laughs> I'm Jewish. <laughs> as a Jew, we, we like to, you know, describe ourselves as the chosen people. God chose us to like, you know, whatever. But, um, but yeah, so like the idea is like you get rid of the illusion of free will, you get rid of arrogance, and that allows you to do really cool, really great things like creating a new human consciousness within the spirit of humility and, um, and modesty and stuff. But you can also enjoy, you know, um, you can feel really grateful. And it's just a very cool feeling that the universe, you know, chose you or whatever. But, but again, it's like, excuse me, it's um, without the attribution, without, you know, saying, I did this of my own free will, there's absolutely no reason for, for us to feel any better than anyone else. And that, that is a godsend, you know, because like, you know, again, that, that kind of feeling, that, that competitiveness with people just separates us from each other. Okay, we've got a minute left. So, back to my commercial. Yeah, the messenger and I are pioneering um, a new human consciousness. You know, we, we, yeah, I think we've already succeeded. It's just playing out, you know. People are getting that... Um, Causal will is the true nature of human will, that um, the <laughs> free will is an illusion. And I would expect, maybe much sooner than you might expect, you might um, think, that this is going to um, ultimately bring major transformative changes to the, our, our entire world. All right, that's all we have time for today. Yeah, to, um, now, our next show is going to be Human Will and the Occupy Global Revolution. I'm going to tape it actually right now when I finish this one, but that should be a very cool show. All right, so I uh, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time on Exploring the Illusion of Free Will.